Hello and welcome to Catholic Crafty Kids. This is the 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time and this week we will hear a number of important messages. Um, I'm just going to zero in on one from the Gospel of Mark where Jesus is having a conversation with his disciples about who do you say that I am and Peter gets it right and um, says that Jesus is the Christ which they have been waiting for. <clears throat> Jesus goes on to describe how he's going to suffer which bothers Peter, and Peter tries to argue about it. Uh, and Jesus rebukes him and then goes on to say, um, if you want to follow me, deny yourself and take up your cross and follow me. So we, this is a great opportunity. There's so many nice cross crafts. So this is one that has always been a favorite among the ones of my kids that my kids have brought home. So this requires lots of supervision. Okay, we're gonna need matches. Uh-oh, keep away from children. Well, at least supervise carefully while we're working on this. So you'll want a lot of these. Um, what we're going for is a design like so. Uh, what you're gonna need is an odd number of matches here. You'll want one in the middle and then the design comes out to the side equally symmetric on either side. Um, for me, it was um, 13 looked right across. And so, ha, across, ha, pun. All right, so what you're gonna need to do is measure for yourself how wide that is, depending on what kind of matches you're using. Um, I tried to find graph paper around my house that would work, and even the, I couldn't find two pieces of graph paper that even matched each other for, I wanted something standardized that we could all talk about. So what I settled for was wide ruled paper. So for me, 13 matches was four wide ruled lines long. All right, or wide. So what I did then is I designed a cross. So I took two different pieces of paper. I used one to measure across and then one to do, um, you know, you want some vertical measurements and some horizontal measurements. What you're going for is this sort of design. So you have um, in the middle, just a square, four lines across, four lines high, another one like that on the top in each side, and actually go three down um, the middle to make the long end of the cross. Now you can also put a strip at the top that you can fold over and punch a hole in if you want to hang this up later. That is a preview of what you want to do later. You can also add that bit after the fact if you change your mind, if you don't want to deal with it today uh, and you can uh, add it on later on. So then you cut that out so you can see kind of what that looks like. All right, and you lay it out, and I laid it on this notebook, and then you start the design with the matches. Now, these matches have not been burnt. Um, it really is very pretty if you burn the matches, just a tad, like we're talking, just light them and blow them out, just like that, okay? So you're gonna want just a burnt, one little burnt tip, and it'll also make this sulfur a little less thick. It'll make it easier to lay out the whole pattern when you get going. So how do we start this? Well, you're gonna take one match and you're actually gonna just cut the head off and that's gonna be your vertical starting point, like so. Then you're gonna take another, cut the head off and cut it in half, all right? So let me show you where those are. Those are here on the design. So where do they go? They go right in your cross. They go right up it, right in the middle here and across here. So they will crisscross right at the center of that middle box, all right? So you start it like that, you can see. There's that vertical one, and then those horizontal two halves, okay? Glue those down right away. Then you can start to, and you're on, like I said, you're on that cross paper that you cut out over here, okay? That's where I'm doing this. And then you can start to lay out all the matches. So what you're gonna want is you're gonna want one in each of these four corners, <clears throat> kind of like that card game, kings in the corners, and then you will fan out from there an equal number um, up and over. So do these four bits in the center first, okay? So like I said, four in the corner, and then for me it was six up and six over, six up and six over, six up and six, or six over, six down, six over and six down after my one in the middle. So I have 13 matches here and here and here and here, okay? Once you've got those in, and you can glue them not just to the paper, um, and you don't want to use a lot of glue because your paper will get very saturated very quickly unless you have or want to trace it on some cardstock or something that would work too. Um, you can also glue the matches kind of side to side to each other just to stiffen the whole thing and make it stronger. 
Okay, so once you've got those four center pieces done, then you can start the top, again, one in the middle, and that one kind of touches that vertical crossbar, and then six and six, for me it was. Like I said, any odd number will do. If you want to do fewer matches in a skinnier design, that's fine, just cut your paper thinner. And then here, same idea, um, middle one touches the crossbar, and then six and six. Middle one touches the crossbar, six and six, and then same at the bottom. And then you're gonna do another layer on the bottom. And that's what gives you that beautiful cross shape, okay? And all of these are glued to that paper cross outline that you made. And then also, like I said, you can add some glue um, to the sides of each one as you place them and glue them to one another as well, just for a really nice, stiff design. So this is what it looks like unburnt. And I have an example that is burnt. So if you look at this, look how beautiful that is. So you've got the, the burning, the burnt edges on each one as you go. And it just really kind of illustrates the suffering aspect a little bit too. You know, there's a lot of um, damage that happens sometimes and it's all part of what we are doing in service of the Lord. And then let me just flip this over and show you this. So there's that paper frame on the back. Okay, and then up at the top, you can flip over, and this one, I think someone used a piece of cloth for this one, but you can just do it with a, a piece of um, thicker paper and fold it over and punch a hole, and then you can hang this when you're done. Okay, like so. All right, so enjoy your cross craft, and have a great week.